Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 102, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We uh, made our way to Korriban. We've been carefully avoiding looting the corpses because we were so warned. We found a cave that we will go back to in a minute, and we're about to enter the Sith Academy. And just a reminder, if you've never played before, this is the point where you want to make sure you have the party you're going to have. Because once you pass through these doors, that's it. You ain't getting no more help. You're not swapping out anybody. This is, this is what you get. So I've got my ranged help over there with HK. I've got my skills guy. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Let's see what we can do from here. Oh. Oh, him. Well, this can't be good. Are, are you talking about 7, 8, and 9? Let, let's just say I have feelings about those. Her apprentice is here. Find him. Why does he look like Frankenstein's Jedi? All right, um, let's do the wave and let's get valor and some speed. <laughs> uh oh, did they just run like right past me and oh. Well, that went easier than I expected. All right. Anything to loot? Come on. Surely these guys are worth a couple of stakes. And there's a bag. There's a bag right there. I should totally be able to loot that. You telling me somebody left an empty bag just sitting there in the corner? Come on. No? No. Eh, nope. Well, all right then. Let's uh, make our way down then. Oh, <laughs> oh now, now you got Arcadius going. <laughs> it, it is a fair question because it is a problem. All right. Before I go running up there, let's go ahead and go. Let's get you to actually wear a shield. And we'll go speed and valor and meditation and then we'll run in and start hitting these guys with oh that's right I forgot we're on Korriban uh, there, there's an interesting problem wait because peanut butter doesn't come in a spray can oh seriously yes that that um, I forgot to mention, one of the fun parts about being on Korriban in the Knights of the Old Republic 2 is your alignment has a bigger influence on how this plays out. If you are light side attuned, you get a minus 65 to your saves. And if you are dark side attuned, you get a plus 65 to your saves. And that's not just you, the player character. That's everybody in your party and everybody you're fighting against. So these two yahoos, who should have been nothing for me to run over and, and just knock down and beat senseless with a lightsaber, um completely resisted that force wave because they get a plus 65 to their saves because they're dark side and we're in Korriban. Oh, oh, and before you think, well, I'll take the middle path, uh, you cannot complete the cave unless you're strongly attuned to the light or the dark. So if you're going to be on Korriban, you got to pick a side. And if you're picking the light side, you got to know it's going to be rough because you're going to be throwing powers around and they're going to be laughing at you. 
Good thing most of the powers that I have in the party right now are all buffs anyway, because force speed works. <laughs> it just works. You know, valor works because it works, and so on and so forth. Although I keep forgetting the droid doesn't benefit from a lot of my powers. Um, I, I maybe should have picked uh, fleshy ranged. Yeah. Alright. Where do I want to go? I want to go further south. Now, I want to first take a quick lap around to see what my options are. So, we got a door there. We've got an open hallway there with some ominous looking bodies. We got some ominous looking bodies over here. These guys seem a little more recently deceased. Uh, it's down this way. Besides a dead body. A door. And that door leads to rubble. Well, okay then. I guess we're not doing anything down that way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Oh. Alright, I see how it's going to be. Fine. Let's do... Alright, we'll do that real quick. And then we'll queue these up. I guess we're going to be uh, fighting assassins all the way through the academy here. Although, seriously. Are you going to tell me that not one of these guys had, uh, had some loot on them? They, they just happen to be running around equipmentless coming after a Jedi? Who does that? Alright, so I've got a couple of different ways I can go. I think first things first is what is behind this door here? Okay. Ooh. I like foot lockers. I like stuff in foot. Uh, eh. Okay. I was hoping for something better than that, but I'll take it. I, I'm not going to I'm not going to pass up loot. Yeah, he has uh, feelings about that. All right, dog on it. This won't take long. I'm gonna try it just in case they roll a one. I mean, stranger things have happened, right? I mean, only if I'm running. <laughs> if I'm rolling for the Sith, we'll roll ones all the time. How many of these guys are there? Fine. All right, just for rest. Where's the clicky thing that gives me loot? <laughs> no? No loot? No loot. Ah, okay. Footlocker's close enough, right? Ooh, a poison rocket. Also known as parts. Oh, I probably should have taken her with me. Because she's got the blaster. She could have done the range support. Ah! And then I would have had some more powers to work around... Slivar's robe? What is the Slytherin robe? Oh wait, no. Wrong franchise. Different wizards. <laughs> uh, defense bonus 2. Nice. Dexterity 2. Restricted to light side. And damage resistance 15 versus dark side and 15 versus... Oh, that's going to be nice. Uh, I need to, I need to, yeah, I need to get a couple of, uh, armor enhancements in it. So that'll definitely happen. That'll definitely happen in the, uh, between live streams. I, I'll go put an armor upgrade in there and, uh, and see if I can't get that defense bonus up higher or just give it to somebody who's got a robe with defense bonus or two to begin with. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. Is there anything else new on my list? I can't remember. Oh yeah, a poison rocket. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, is that all the loot in here? That is all the loot in here. Alright. Let's see. That is the way back out. And it's locked. And what is behind this door here? No, it's locked locked. It's not pick a lock. It's just locked locked. Okay. Then I guess we need to go down this way. Hey! A random loot bag. Alright. Where's the shimmery form of assassins? Oh, there's one of the hounds. A frozen... Oh, Frozian. <laughs> I, I thought it said frozen scout belt. Like, I, this place doesn't look like it's cold enough for somebody to be frozen. Alright, and a data pad. What's this data pad said? These are getting to be a major obstacle on our hunt for Sith holocrons. We've been trying to use our stealth generators to sneak past them, but then some fool bumped into one of them wandering around and got himself eaten. Now the taste of fresh blood has driven the beasts wild. Well, good to know. Uh, I wonder if one of those two was the fool who did that. Who's more a fool, the fool or the fool who, fool who follows him? No, I butchered the quote, didn't I? Help me, Arcadius. You're my only hope. Who's more a fool, the fool or the fool who follows? Was that the quote? You know the one I'm thinking of. Ooh. Oh, hi guys. Alright, let's uh... Okay, good. It did queue up the battle meditation and speed. And then we're gonna go to town. Come on. Oh, I did get speed. All right, I guess that was the extra. All right, what's behind this footlocker? It better have been worth it. Scoundrel gloves. Okay. Who's more fool, the fool or the fool who follows him? Okay. I, I, you know, <laughs> thank you, one wing angel. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, 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 I get to do a better evil laugh. <laughs> no, close enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, what do these scoundrel gloves do? Oh, they're restricted to the scoundrels. Well, um... That does beg an interesting question. Since Mira was a scoundrel, can she use them still? Or, or now that she's a Jedi, can she no longer use these? I'll have to check that. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do need to lay out my master plan for everyone to hear, and I need the oversized ventilation ducts. I, 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 I read that article. <laughs> We're doing pretty good, One Wing Angel. I hope you're doing pretty good, too. We are looting the tombs. I mean, exploring the tombs. <laughs> Did he see me? Okay. We'll get to him. We'll get his. Yeah, this is a fun game. Alright. Let's put our computer skills to use. Bypass login and manually create ID. Oh, I didn't know the Sith used solar winds. Oop, sorry, too soon. Your new student ID is oh goodness gracious. Memorize your ID. Losing your ID may result in disciplinary action. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, enter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You, you, you. A high enough computer skill will help you remember your ID. Oh, okay. Greetings, student. Message of the day follows. Due to the absence of a headmaster, we have switched to an automated training system until further notice. <laughs> All right, let's access learning material first. Level one access granted. Oh, hey, that's that door that we couldn't open. All right, let's take the level one written test. Why not? Uh, I'm very familiar with the art of taking tests without having studied for them. Hi, <laughs> Beach Duck. That wasn't that scary. It's only scary when we play uh, Hero's Quest. That's when the scary laughs come out. Alright, level 1 test message follows. The level 1 test contains 5 questions. At the end of the test, you will be told how many questions you answer correctly to proceed to level 2. You must correctly answer 4 of the 5 questions. It's recommended that you study learning material in the library before proceeding. Ah, let's begin the test. Alright, question 1. Which of the following Sith Lords does not possess... Possess? Possess a tomb on Korriban. Nagasato, Agent Paul, Marco Ragnos, Freedom Nod, Tula Cord. Well, since we had Korea giving us our history lesson at the four tombs, and we know that one, two, three, and five were all names that they mentioned to us, and four is not, clearly the answer is four. Question two. A number of Sith Lords conducted the burial ritual of the great Marco Ragnos. The ritual required that all Sith Lords and tenants be evenly spaced in a perfect circle. I didn't know they were still touring. Okay. Oh, no. Wrong perfect circle. Uh, Ludo Kresh led the ritual from the coveted sixth position, directly opposite Stimus in the 16th position. Oh, don't worry. I will get to the library to go loot it. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's... It's multiple guess. I mean, look, as long as you can eliminate enough that you get a reasonable set of options, you're good. Uh, so we got basically two people in the 6th and 16th positions. Uh, that means that there's eight on either side. So because if you do the math, 6th position, 16th, they're opposite each other. There's eight people in between on one side or the other, plus those two would mean that we're at 20. Question three, which of the following creatures would least be suitable as a pet for a Sith master? This is one. Kind of requires you to uh, to have played the first. Scary as an asthmatic halfling. Hey, now. Uh, th this would have this would have re required you to uh, to to have played the first Knights of the Old Republic, because then you would know that the. Gizka, Gizka, uh, is completely harmless. So if you're looking for a creature that would be least suitable as a pet for a Sith Master, it's going to be the one that's all cute and cuddly and won't hurt you at all. Uh, so there we go. Uh, question four. Which of the following statements is not a paradox? Hmm. The student teaches his instructor who teaches his student. I don't think they understand what paradoxes are. You know what? <laughs> yes, they do. And the first was fun. That was actually the first games revisited stream I did was uh, the first Knights of the Old Republic. And I've been bouncing back and forth between PC games and old console games. Uh, if you look back in the YouTube archives, I've got Chrono Trigger, Illusion of Gaia. Um, I forget which... Comp oh, Portal and Portal 2. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of good stuff there. We are now in Season 5. Each game is its own season. Yeah, with big pointy teeth. <laughs> uh... I guess I always lie is not a paradox. Because it, 
if you're lying about always lying, then you are always lying. Right? Yeah. We'll go with that. The path, the path to breaking chains is... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We only have to get four of them, right? So, we'll always guess A. Oh, oh, it was A. Haha. -ha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. You know, I, I struggled really hard with remembering the Sith code thing too. Uh, you. If you watch the replay of uh, uh of the first nights of the old republic games, I it took me three tries to get through the questioning with the master, and that that just all right. Uh, is there any other learning material? Redundant command access to the library rooms already granted. What about the training room? Level two access granted. Ooh, okay. So now we got uh now we got the library and the training room open. Uh, all right, let's log out. Oh, it's about to be on, isn't it? All right, fine. Let's, uh, except instead of combat, I want to go ahead and get some extra attacks in, get a flurry in, get some valor in, and then start flurrying again. Is it just the one guy? Oh no. Did you seriously turn your back on me? I will cut you for that. Hey, um... If he's gonna keep sending assassins after me, could he at least send, uh... better equipped assassins? Not equipped as in what they're attacking me with. But, uh, e equipped as in, uh... What, what I could recover from them. Yeah, we, we played the MMO for a while, too, and uh, it started out really good, and then it became very clear when the B team kicked in. Yeah, that's probably the best way to, to phrase that. All right, he is getting healed, yes. I thought I saw his health move up. Uh, where's a repair kit? I'd rather have him at full health at the moment. Med pack, antidote, life support, med pack. No, I don't want to... Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh... Hit him with... Oh. Well, that did nothing. Oh, because I got the wrong guy doing that. He's the one with the high repair skill. There we go. Okay. Everybody's back to, uh... Hey. <laughs> Easy there. Alright, let's go ahead and save real quick. Because I, I got a... I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. What, did I hit an invisible wall? Nope. Okay. I get a bad feeling about a footlocker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know that it... I don't even know that it was so much more accessible to the younger generation or if it was... Um, they just didn't have the time to, to crank it out. Although, I don't think they... He I don't think they really needed to crank out the expansions as fast as they did, and that was part of what hurt them. What well, was just going expansion after expansion after expansion, and uh, it, they they could have they could have taken their time with it a little bit more. All right, we're gonna head that way anyway. So let's uh, let's say hello, Beastie. Oh wait, no, that's a different franchise. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, the little loot circle. No? Okay. Alright, let's finish exploring this wing, and then and then we might call it a night. Alright, so we got more of those guys there. 
probably got more down that other way too. So let's uh, let's head up that way. So yes, yes, exactly. All right, and let's go. Bam! Stun. Right? No? Oh well. Let's get those extra attacks in. Oh, there's another. Okay. <laughs> How do you like that? Come on, man. Alright. Let's uh let's stick with our original plan. Oh. It looks like there's only one other thing around that corner there. We'll have to get to that in just a minute. Uh, we got an empty box. And behind that box is another empty... No, oh, no, that has stuff in it. Hello, stuff. A heavy repeating carbine. Well, okay. That could be nice. I like repeating carbines. The heavier, the better. Chewed Twi'lek Corpse. Mmm. A thermal detonator. And a data pad from a Twi'lek treasure hunter. This is a work log of a Twi'lek treasure hunter. Of interest is the last entry. He thinks I'm wasting my time, but I will make it past this door, even if I have to blow it to bits with the thorium charges. We were sent here for the holocrons, and I refuse to be the only one to return empty-handed. Yeah, that would be nice. Alright. So, uh, are people going to tell me obvious things about this door? Oh no, we're, we're going to have to deal with these guys first. Alright, hang on. Come on, guys. All right. Don't worry. It'll only hurt for a minute. Let's just uh, queue up those flurries there. All right. One of you guys got some lootables? I'll settle for a sword I can break down for parts. I promise. Someone did quite a job on this door. Reinforced and welded shut. We're not getting through, that's for sure. Observation. It would take more firepower than we have to access the room beyond this door. <laughs> this heavily reinforced door has been fused shut. You're telling me I... I got a lightsaber. You're telling me I can't cut through this door? Eventually? Like, I thought it was just a matter of time. Or does it depend? No, it probably depends on the materials, but nobody mentioned materials. Ah, well. Alright, fine. It seems we're going to need thorium charges, since the game is heavily hinting that we need thorium charges. So who's got the thorium charges? Oh, I was so hoping they'd be right there. Ooh, an orange crystal, an ion rocket. Uh, I'll take everything. I might even put that, uh... You know, I haven't seen a crafting bench or a workbench. Hi, hello, beastie. Let me handle this. Why are you running to the front like that? You've got a big honking rifle. Shoot him from way back there. All right. All right. <laughs> Lightsaber resistant stonework. Well, I mean, all right. Maybe if somebody had gone on about uh, some... Yeah, Kree has been giving me information, right? She could telepathically say something about mystical force-infused stone or something like that. That could work. I could buy that. Prototype shield. That could be nice. Data pad. Hmm. Note to new recruits. In the absence of many Sith Masters, basic training has been automated. To oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you encounter any difficulties, solve them yourself. Students who are too weak to be self-reliant will soon fail here. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I mean, that is, you know, that, that is the way of the Seth, right? If you can't figure it out, you ain't going to make it. That, that's just the way it is. I, I've had that professor. I've had that professor. Like, like he, he was the one who would include confidence check answers on the test. But he gave us a test where 19 out of the 20 questions were none of the above. Twenty question twist. Nineteen out of twenty. The answer was none of the above. You want to talk about something that will have you questioning your knowledge? <laughs> that will do it. Oh man, yeah, that that was a lot less fun in person. It it, it was a fun class. I enjoyed the professor, but yeah. All right, let's see. Do we have time to do the library? Yeah, let's see what uh let, let's see what uh recoverables are in the library. Or if it's just going to be a lot of reading that we should have done before we took the test. Anything? No, just decorative statues. Are we supposed to meditate on the evil-looking statues with the wicked-looking axes? Well, maybe a little bit more of a Sith. A Sith for the, a Sith for the Sith. A scythe for the Sith. All right, fine. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Let's just uh, where'd my? There we go. I'm not even gonna bother buffing up for this. These guys have been easy enough so far. Come on, hit him! I gave you that big honking axe for a reason. All right. Well, there's some stuff over there. Let's start at this side. Computer panel. Primary buffer overflow. Data corrupted. Um, all right, our, our computer skills better than our repair skills, so let's do that. Loading data from secondary buffer. <laughs> yes, yes it is. All right, uh... Oh. The Academy contains a large collection, yada yada, okay. Okay, Seth Code. That would have been useful to <laughs> know before we took the test. That one's busted, that one's busted, and that one's busted, okay. But we got a nice little bag of goodies with a data pad and some thorium charges. Contractors, read this first. Have you met a contractor? How many contractors are going to read this first? Never mind. I'm not going there. I'm so not going there. Okay. Use the thorium charges in this locker only as a last resort to clear a blocked door. This structure is very old and unstable, and cave-ins could cause damage or destroy the artifacts we were sent here to collect. <laughs> and speaking of thorium charges... Hey, we just so happen to have a door that is only openable with thorium charges. <laughs> um... I used to work for a hospital where there was a large population of contract staff. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I know I'm running a little bit long again for an episode, but I, uh, since I got these thorium charges, I'd be ashamed to let them go to waste. But before I go placing highly explosive things in a door of unknown prominence, let's Let's go ahead and save. That seems wise. <laughs> um, yeah, don't get me started on that one either. Not going there. All right. Heavily reinforced door has been fused shut. Use the thorium charges to open the door and run away. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't have to actually run away. the building coming down items lost yes I know I lost an item 
I placed it by the door. Sith Holocron. This holocron was recently broken. A result of the thorium charges used to blast open the door to this room. Whatever message this holocron contained is now lost. Um, that is... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a special place. It really started out as a nice job. When I first got there, it was really nice. But uh, changes in certain places uh, caused more changes in other places. And, well, it became a less nice place to work. And that's all I'll say about that. Uh, this holocron that is broken. It is only broken because very early on in the game, when you have the option to say, you know, somebody brings up Revan, and you have the option to say he was a Sith or he converted back to the light, or whatever it was. Basically what you're doing is you're setting up the history that certain parts of the game operate on from thereafter. So it, it basically is a, a rudimentary way of letting you clue the game into how you finished the first game. Since I had finished it with Revan turning to the light side and becoming a strong Jedi again, that's what I chose in that early dialogue way back at the beginning. And so it, it's making changes that ripple out throughout the game, like this holocron. If I had, cho if I had chosen the, to indicate to the game that Revan had fallen and stayed fallen and was a dark Jedi, then... Um, <laughs> yeah, well, at the workplace in question, well, we, I was there for 14 years. So it's not so much workplaces plural as it is workplace... Uh, enduring. Uh, so, ba so basically, uh, if I had played a dark side character and had, uh, or had indicated that Revan was dark side all along, this holocron actually would have had a message. But it only has that message if you indicate to the game that Revan had fallen and stayed fallen. Um, so don't don't think that that broken is broken because of the thorium charges and there was some other way to avoid it breaking. Uh, that that's just an indication that that you made choices that no longer show you that message. That's a long way of saying that. Hmm. Armor, armor's always nice. Gan shock staff, also known as spare parts. Um. <laughs> Aerotech Cardio Regulator. Eh. Could be useful. I do have a lot of extra accessories that I probably ought to break down for spare parts at some point in time, too. Alright, so that brings us to having explored about half the place. Right? Because we did the library, we did that hallway, we did that spot down there. Yeah. Yeah, the the only way to not break it is to make different choices about how Revan turned out way back at the beginning of the game. And there's a few other spots that's like that where because you indicated Revan turned back to the light, it affects more than just that one section. And, and like, likewise for a couple other choices that, that they just kind of ripple out from there. And it gives you a different game depending on how you want to play. And I really deeply appreciate that about the way they did both of the Knights of the Old Republic games where your choices have ongoing consequences beyond that immediate moment. Uh, some of the conversations that happen, some of the things that happen only happen if you've made certain investments. And it really helps the replay value too. So, it, so that way you can play it three times and then go, Oh, wow. There was another path. <laughs> and yeah, I, 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 I would love for, I would love for somebody to, to do another Knights of the Old Republic game, especially with the modern graphics engines and, but do it with the same depth of story. I've heard good things about Fallen Order. Uh, 
I'm tempted to try it. I know it was on sale on Steam a while back, although it requires an EA login to play it, and I don't like having a login required to play a single-player game. I, I have a big philosophical thing about that, so I probably won't get Fallen Order uh, for that reason. I, I stubbornly refuse to play the Final Fantasy VII that I got on Steam for 3 bucks because it requires a Squaresoft login, and I'm, I'm not doing that. Squaresoft can take their login and integrate it with Steam. That's the way I'm going to phrase that, because I run a family-friendly channel. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and save this real quick, because uh, we, we've actually made a fair amount of progress here. We've got just a little bit more of the Sith Academy to explore, and then we've got those caves to deal with. And then we're probably going to backtrack and tie up a couple of loose ends like the HK factory and, and some of that sort of stuff. But uh, we got just a little bit more to do here. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.